that. Water coming in below is forcing the air up. She's sighing. Forward sections of Titanic were filling uncontrollably. As each bulkhead was breached, the weight created by the water forced Titanic's bow further into the ocean. You, Barrett. You stay down here with Shepard and Harvey and help man the pumps. Sir. Have you transferred steam pressure to the ash ejectors? I believe Mr. Harvey has, sir. Keep those fires drawn. We don't want the pressure building up and blowing the joints. Can you keep them pulled? I did my job, sir. As Titanic slowly listed forward, the firemen's bunk rooms towards the front of the ship were among the first areas to start flooding. It was now clear that water was pouring over Titanic's bulkheads. What's the matter, boys? Didn't bargain on an early bath? <laughs> nice and clean for those burly hairs, eh? I need you to fetch me some lamps from the portside storeroom. What? Some G-deck. Four of the workshops. And I thought we were pals. As Titanic's first distress call was sent, for the small group of electricians on board, their role became vital. They were now in charge of diverting power through miles of circuits that ran throughout the ship, keeping essential systems working. All right, comrades. Looks like we're going to have to put in a little extra on this one. No, we're busy. <laughs> you just got busier. Bell, you want the auxiliary sets working? Turn on the lifeboat when she's... Lifeboats? Well, I'm just the messenger. The emergency steam supply pipe runs above the watertight bulkheads through to the auxiliary dynamos on D-deck. They're on the aft side of the turbine engine room casing. Now, how much power will they give us? 30 kilowatts each at 100 volts. There's a cross connection here. We need to take steam from boiler rooms two, three, four, and pass it up to the emergency dynamo. There's a valve here, here, and another one. That's just going to leave us the lights. Can you isolate these circuits? Oh, 
Fires have been pulled in five. The water hits the boilers that blow. Every remaining ounce of pressure I need to power the ballast and bilge pumps. So what are we supposed to use for the emergency circuit? The lifeboat wants us and the light's down here. Divert the port side boiler from two. What's your name, son? Irvine. Sir. How old are you, Irvine? 18, sir. From two, then. Aye. Good lad. Those bloody switches! Who's that? Who the hell do you think it is? Ah, oh, would you bloody believe it? As the first lifeboat was lowered, it had a capacity for 65. There were 28 people on board. Right, gentlemen. We're going to make our way up top. Orderly fashion now. Henry Allen. Walter Binston. Edward McGarvey. I need some men below to help me pull the fires in five. But Bell said... I need some men. matter with you. Right, lads! Time to work! Come on! Somebody on starboard! You lot, take those! in here. And I think about the ocean and how deep it is underneath us. Miles of it. Do you think we'll ever get off? person I saw leave this ship I was a kid about my age he looked at me and I knew what he was thinking he was thinking I wish I was in that uniform I wish that was me you're bloody good at your job Kelly I've seen you Bloody good. What difference will that make? I don't know. None, probably. But you're wearing the uniform, aren't you? The 
battle to save Titanic was now taking place in boiler room number five. Titanic's pumps became a lifeline for survival. Normally used to keep the ship on an even keel, they were now given a new role, stopping the incoming water from overwhelming the ship. I need you to start the fourth generator, now. There's not enough pressure in the system, sir. People are trying to get off this ship. We will give them the best chance we can. We have the auxiliaries running off the boilers in three. We have the port side boilers in two, it's... But there's the starboard side in four. Aye. If we keep her in steam, we can cross-connect from the supply lines to the reciprocating engines. Do it. 